All right, so uh, come on in. We're going to talk a little bit about Nutanix and OpenStack. So uh, if you guys want to sit down, we'll be doing it in about three minutes now. Good. OK, um, so good morning, everybody. I'm really excited to be here today. Um, so I actually had a, a chance to attend the first OpenStack conference uh, back in Texas. And uh, that was a, a couple years back. And I'm very impressed at exactly you know, how many people are here today, as well as the interest in OpenStack. Now, I came out to Hong Kong for one very particular reason. And that's to talk to you guys more about Nutanix, which is our company, as well as the solution that we have for OpenStack. A little background about myself before we get started. So my name is Lucas. Um, I'm the director of solutions engineering here at Nutanix. Um, previous to that, I was actually a data center architect. So I designed and built out tier three and tier four data centers for financial services clients, as well as gov federal government. Now, a little background about Nutanix as well. We were incorporated back in 2009. Um, we launched our first product in 2011. Now, with, with our ambitious ideas, we were able to attract top tier uh, venture capitalist money from Lightspeed Venture Partners, uh, Battery Ventures, as well as Vinod Coastless Firm, which is Coastal Ventures, and Goldman Sachs. Our team comes from mostly Google, uh, Facebook, VMware, and other top tier technology companies. Uh, the, the folks from Google were actually the initial designers of Google GFS. And our folks, folks from Facebook uh, built and designed Cassandra, which is the distributed data store that's used for Facebook messaging. Um, in terms of sales, we're 100% channel driven. Um, so every Nutanix block that is purchased is actually purchased through a Nutanix partner, a Nutanix channel partner. Um, we also have the accolade of being the fastest growing company, fastest growing infrastructure company of the past decade. So in the last two years, we've been able to achieve an $80 million annual rev revenue run rate. Now, what has led to our success in the market? And what exactly do we sell? We actually sell what we call a 2U hyperconverged appliance, or a virtual computing platform. Now, each one of those 2U blocks has four independent servers, four independent nodes. And every node in the Nutanix system has storage, both flash and HDD storage. It has compute. We use the latest Intel chipsets for compute. And it also has networking. So every node has dual 10 gig Ethernet. Now, although hardware is important, it's really not what makes Nutanix. It's not our special sauce. What we provide is a distributed file system that was built from the ground up for virtualization. So we have a file system. On every single Nutanix node, we have what's called a virtualized storage controller. So we have a VM that runs. And that VM runs many services, which make up the Nutanix distributed file system. One of the main functions of this file system is to take all of the local storage, both flash and HDD storage, and expose it as one massive storage pool that can be utilized by many VMs in the system. In addition, a, a, another major feature of NDFS is it's actually a scale-out file system. So as you need more compute and storage capacity, you simply add more Nutanix blocks. You can start with a 2U appliance, which is four nodes and then add one node at a time as you need more compute and storage. Now, a lot of you might be asking, you know, there, there are plenty of distributed file systems out there, you know, several open source distributed file systems. You know, what makes Nutanix NDFS special? And you know, what, why would I choose Nutanix NDFS? And I would contend that there is no other distributed file system on the market that, has as, that is as feature-rich as NDFS. So we have the most comprehensive feature set for OpenStack. 
So not only do you get a scale-out distributed file system, but you also have the concept of VM data locality. So as VMs are running on the system, their data is kept locally. So you, when you're reading and writing data to a VM, you're not making a hop over the network. So we reduce network I.O. and also reduce response times and increase performance for applications running on NDFS. In addition, we have flash and HTD auto tiering. So your, your most important data, um, the, the data that's being read by the most VMs, is actually kept in the flash tier of our system. Um, we also have in-memory com compression, uh, deduplication, um, as well as specific features to integrate with OpenStack. Now, what I'm talking about, we, we actually build a, a Cinder plugin for OpenStack to use native Nutanix snapshots, as well as uh, Nutanix volume management. In addition, we also integrate with Nova and Glance. So our Nova and Glance integration is something that's unique to any OpenStack distributed file system. In a traditional OpenStack deployment, when you instantiate an image from Glance, all of the bits of the image have to be downloaded to the Nova compute node. And depending on the size of your image, that can take a lot of time. So say you have a 20 gig image, it could take four or five minutes just to start up the instance on the Nova compute node. With Nutanix NDFS and our integration with Glance and Nova, we actually can start Glance-backed images instantaneously. With NDFS, we create a writable snapshot that is attached directly to the Nova compute node, so you don't need to wait for all of the bits of the image to be downloaded to Nova. From that point forward, using the features of NDFS, we still maintain uh, data that's being written and read to the node locally. So as data is needed locally, it's brought locally to the Nova compute node, not all at once. In addition, we have integration with Swift, um, several features which support fault tolerance and reliability, as well as auto healing. So to summarize, NDFS is the most feature-rich distributed file system for OpenStack and any private cloud environment. Now, the interesting thing about NDFS is it was also designed to be hypervisor agnostic. So in addition to supporting uh, VMware, which a lot of our customers run today, uh, we also support KVM as well as Microsoft Hyper-V. You can get all of these features and this file system as pre-imaged as a 2U appliance. So we pre-image the hypervisor. Uh, we pre-image Nutanix NDFS. And then we also pre-image OpenStack on one of these appliances. So you have everything that you need for OpenStack to get going in less than 15 minutes. Now, to, to showcase a, a couple of these solutions, I actually have a, a couple minute video that I'd like to show. Good? All right, there we got some music. It's good now.
You can see this is our UI here. All right. Okay, uh, so to conclude here, um, with Nutanix and OpenStack, you get a simple 2U appliance to start your OpenStack deployment. So we have a, a pre-imaged appliance for you that has the hypervisor, it has the OpenStack distribution, we use RDO distribution, as well as all the Nutanix features and Nutanix in integration. You also have a scale-out fabric. So with our distributed file system, as you want more capacity to run more Nova nodes or for Swift storage, you can simply buy more Nutanix blocks. They're automatically discovered using the Avahi protocol, and then we can add them to the Nutanix cluster. So you're able to continually scale out your OpenStack deployment with a single fabric. You don't have to scale each service uh, and e each storage and have separate hardware for every service. Um, last of all, you get the award-winning Nutanix distributed file system, which has the most features and the best integration with OpenStack. In-memory caching, data locality, compression, snapshots, as well as integration with Cinder, Glance, and Nova. The last slide I have is actually um, some of the customers that we have at Nutanix. So here's, here's a, a series of customers. You see some big names up there that are using Nutanix in production today. Um, and and they've, they trust us with their data, and, and we're continuing to build that customer base. Um, so that's about all I have for this presentation. I got one minute left. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, you have a question? Go ahead. Sure, so for Swift, the Swift integration is pretty simple. We create what's called an RF1 Nutanix container, and then we pass that off to Swift. So you get the, you do, we don't replicate data, we let Swift replicate the data, but you do get you know, auto tiering, you get in-memory caching, you get keep compression, deduplication, and all of the other features of NDFS because it's still running underneath Swift. Does that make sense? Okay, great question. Um, any other questions from the audience about Nutanix in general or our OpenStack integration? All right. Well, uh, with that, uh, I appreciate the time. You know, thanks for taking the time to listen to us today. Um, I'm very excited for this convention and telling our story. So if you'd like to come by and learn more, please visit our booth. We're over there in the, in the middle of the exchange. And, uh, have a great, great rest of the day and a great OpenStack convention. Thank you very much.